Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokeaim here with the next part of Ambipom to the top. Today we're going to be using the team by Alpha the Predator. Uh, thank you everybody for all the support on Ambipom. We have a couple more days left. Keep using that boy. Make sure you're using it on the high ladder. Let's see uh, if the usage is actually affected. I think more so than that, like I've actually grown to really like this mod in the tier too. It's been a lot of fun. It's actually helped me in quite a few games too. Uh, but yeah, also I got this uh, message from uh, Gunner Comeback. I'm not sure if that's Gunner Rowan as well, but I, I wasn't sure how to reply. So <laughs> just thank you, dude. Like I, I don't know. I know this is a bot, and I'm not sure if I'm actually supposed to how, how I respond to the bot. Uh, but thank you, my man. I appreciate it. Anyway, we have Silk Scarf Amapon with Fake Out, uh, Tail Slap, U-Turn, and Pursuit. I haven't used Pursuit much, so let's see how that works. Uh, we have a Mammal Swine, but this is like a max HP Phytium Z Mammal Swine. So I think it just takes neutral, good neutral hits just because it has a fat HP stat. Uh, as well as a Gliscor, of course. Uh, though on this variant of Gliscor, I prefer Ice Fang over Facade uh, these days. We have Choice Scarf Hydreigon. Without U-Turn, we have Hidden Power Ice, so I'm actually forced to attack what's in front of me, which is sometimes good. Uh, and Polion, the Defogger. Um, and then we have... Wait, do we not have Rocks on this team? We don't have rocks. I don't know how I feel about no rocks on this team in this part of the ladder. Uh, God, knockoff is so good. Knockoff is so good. But I'm, I'm, I'm going rocks. Yeah, knockoff is way too great. And then we have uh, Fabio right here with discharge volts, which hit a power fire and dragon pulse. Like knockoff is way too good, but I need, I need rocks. Like I'm not playing a game without rocks at this point in the ladder. So let's go ahead and look for some battles. Um, Depending on how this team works, maybe I'll, I'll get another team for somebody else, like I mean, for tomorrow's episode, or I'll just build something. I, I'm pretty familiar with EU now, and I've always been pretty familiar with EU because it's one of the tiers I actually follow the most outside of OU and Ubers. Um, and I think part of the reason is because my road to top 10 took 40 years to complete, so I saw every single transition of EU. Uh, but in any case, we'll just pause it, guys, until we find a battle. We'll be right back. All right, so game one, guys, versus Pokemon is fun. <laughs> uh, this should be fun. Have fun, dude. Uh, last time I ended up beating him, and I think he's still number one on the ladder. I mean, I know he's number one on the ladder, but I wonder if he's using his number one account. Oh, no, he's using his number five account, so he's just testing stuff right now. Um, that's a cool squad, but M Pump, great lead. Fake out something if he leads a Selgor. Leads Aggron, which is still super smart on my opponent's part. Um, any chip damage on the monster that I actually cannot break through is really important. I think... Mammal Swine is going to be the key in this game, uh, and we'll just U-turn out and out of there. I doubt he'd rocks. I'm going to go directly now to Empoleon, because even though I don't switch in a lot well, uh, getting up rocks, like he doesn't switch into, he doesn't appreciate rocks just as much as I don't. That's okay. Uh, also, this is Torrent. Uh, no, I think I'm just out of range of Torrent. Actually, 31 maybe. Doesn't matter. I don't deal with Aggron well uh, at all, so I'm willing to, I also don't deal with uh, Gengar well at all, but I'm hoping that's between Pursuit on Ambipom and the uh, the Scarf I Dragon, I'll be fine. Plus my team is naturally bulk, like I said, I have HP and stuff. So I'm willing to get off this damage on Aggron. Yes, he could have Healing Wish on Lottie, uh, but ideally Pursuit on Amapom actually works in this game. And what I mean by that is I trap Gengar. Uh, but with Rocks up, Amapom puts in a ton of work, and again, this Scald is gonna hurt. Goes Gengar. And I unfortunately crit it upon switching. That really sucks. That very much sucks for my opponent. This could get up spikes. Uh, Focus Blast doesn't hit. So, I, oh, he actually did hit. Wow. Um, I wasn't just sure like how that play would go out there, but um, Hydreigon should be able to knock it out with Dark Pulse, and he doesn't appreciate switching into Dark Pulse. Assuming that is could be Specs. Hmm. Fabio helps me weaken. Fabio also resists that. I don't think Hydreigon's Dark Pulse knock it out. Custom set. Did I even put it in? <laughs> That's a ninja. Dark Pulse does that little Fire Blast does 111% to that. So yeah, we'll go Hydreigon. We'll just click Dark Pulse, uh, Fire Blast here. I don't care if you go Aggron or uh, Gliscor. Excuse me. Um, I have my own Gliscor as a switch in. I also have Ma Mammal Swine as a switch in. So I'm definitely gonna throw off Fire Blast right here. If he lets me get rid of uh, a cell gore, then my ammo pump has speed control. Great. So no spikes to deal with right here. We get rid of a cell gore, and Fire Blast also didn't let Agron come in versus me. 
Though it does allow Lottie to come out and potentially just drop a Draco right now. Um, Whiskor can win. I don't want to go hard Amapom. I think that Ampharos is the play. Uh, assuming he drops a Draco. She goes right for the uh, devastating Drake right there. Doesn't actually knock me out, which is pretty cool. And we'll just Mega and Dragon Pulse. So what I can do now is go Amapom. And I'm actually going to click Pursuit. Because you do have aggro on as a switch-in, and it's a really easy switch-in. I don't think you should let me fake you out, plus uh, tail slap you. I think you should always go aggro on. So we'll click that Technician Boosted Pursuit, putting Lottie in range of Ice Shard, as aggro is going to come out, and I can U-turn out of there directly into my um, Gliscor. And while Gliscor doesn't take this on too well, I'm going for the Amapom plus Mamoswine win. Nice, nice, nice. So we can Roost up right here. Take this hit. I'll take Heavy Slams, not super well, but I'll take Avalanche if he has it. Um, this will also help me neuter the, or weaken the, um, this will also help me weaken the uh, the Ice Punch if he does have it as well. And Gliscor being at full means he doesn't deal with it. Assuming he's not Ice Fang, of course. I think my play is just to go hard Mammo though. Like for sure, if you're going to set up on me, I'm max HP, so I take this hit. I will always take this hit because I'm max HP. Literally because I'm max HP, I will take this hit. That's my boy Thick Mammal. And if he gives me Gliscor, then I can Dark Pulse through his team. I can see him going out into... Also having HP Ice is really good in this too, especially with Lottie being so low. Because it'll help me deal with Gliscor and it'll also help me deal with the uh, Aggron. Um, Amapom is also decent, obviously. But this is why I like Ice Fang a lot. Hard Entei. That man took nothing from this. I know I'll live one hit. I'm just trying to... Yeah, it's worth it. It's worth it. Take a Sacred Fire. Um, I don't want to go out into Hydreigon. Uh, that's a choice ban Flare Bits and that's just blows directly through my Pokemon. Uh, but we can go directly out into our Hydreigon now. Just click this Dark Pulse. Uh, that will be able to knock out Entei. He has no switch-ins. I didn't want to go Amapom and click Pursuit because I wasn't sure he'd knock it out at 15. Probably would have, though, uh, thinking about it. We can go directly out to Gliscor right now. You take this hit. I feel like, I feel like it's going to come down to some plays. Like... I'm going to go directly into Hydreigon right now, and I'm just going to start clicking HP Ice. Uh, it deals with Lottie, does a little bit of chip damage into his Aggron, and I'll also eat one hit from this guy, too. He just swords dances, so HP Ice is definitely my play right now. Because um, it allows my own Gliscor to potentially win. I don't think it knocks out his Gliscor from full, but I could be wrong. I'd be fire if it did. Having HP Ice on Hydreigon is really cool in this case. That'd be really nice if it did, though for sure. Um, but it might come down to some Amapom versus Gliscor action. This is why, like I said, I really, really, really prefer Ice Fang to Facade, and I might change it. Especially because Rotom's not in the tier anymore. I'll make it Ice Fang. Because I'd want to be one with this, if anything. Ooh, and the Scarf HP Ice actually able to deal with Gliscor right there. Beautiful, beautiful. So, Gliscor goes down. Aggaron comes out. I literally still go hard Gliscor. As he goes Lottie. Very solid play. All I gotta do is go Ampom here because this doesn't let him do anything versus me as he drops a Draco. And all I gotta do is go Rata Hydreigon and I click Choice Scarf um, Dark Pulse twice and I win this game. Uh, because it will do enough to Aggaron. It should do enough to Aggron. Put it in range of Earthquake, yep. Oh, it doesn't even go down. Good game, dude. Not bad. Okay, so starting it off pretty strong with a win versus Piff. I think that actually lets me pass him on the ladder right now. I think I'm focusing too much on the ladder, though. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't care enough about the ladder, but... Oh, it doesn't. Wait, did I even get points from that? I don't think I got points from that. But yeah, starting off pretty strong. We're going to pause it, guys, until we find another battle, and we shall be right back. 
Alright, so we got another game, and this guy's team is really cool. I'm actually just gonna lead directly off with Ampharos, because it can Volt Switch versus his entire team, and I really like its matchup. Um, I do not like the Suicune matchup that this game has at all. I'm actually really, really, really paranoid about Suicune, but we did Ampharos, and we Volt Switch versus something. Uh, if he leads the Sceptile, I just click HP Ice. I don't have HP Ice. Uh, I have HP Fire. Hmm. If he leads Stack Attack, it's a, it's a problem. But Ampharos will uh, matches up well versus the majority of his team, I feel. Uh, in fact, I can just click Discharge turn 1 if I want to. Um, if he leads like Infernape, for example. If he leads Infernape, I'm clicking Discharge. Leads to Rakion. I can Vulture need to hit. This is one of the three Pokemon he has that I don't match up well versus with Amapom. So, just goes for Rocks, which is cool. Uh, it allows me to drop a Draco on him. Or go Gliscor and activate my Toxic Orb. But Gliscor is actually really important. Like, it's one of my Pokemon that actually wins me this game. Should I go Gliscor then? No. Mammal Swine, check Sceptile, and can knock out this. Uh, and can hurt Suicune. It does not eat a hit from half his team. Yeah, I'm going to go Gliscor and activate my Toxic Orb. I don't want to get Scald Burn later. Or Earthquake. Yeah, I this is this is worth it because like I don't think I had anything to really take on Terrakion too well, in my opinion anyway, in my opinion. Um, so Suicune could come out. Th that's another Pokemon I don't have anything to take on <laughs> at all. Uh, assuming you go something like Sceptile though, if Suicune comes out, Lucario doesn't make much sense here because you don't knock me out and you also don't know my set. Uh, you can only see that I'm running HP, but you don't know how much speed I have at all because again, this is not defensive Gliscor. So you just see that it's HP. You don't see the speed at all. If you go Suicune, I go out into my Ampharos and I just start clicking attacks. I probably have to crit it though, to be honest. Especially because I got rid of knockoff on Empoleon. If you go Sceptile, I switch out into my Empoleon and I defog away the rocks. I just Sceptile comes out, maybe a Leaf Storm right now. Uh, I'll live a Focus Blast as well, and I do have Ice Shard to Revenge Kill this, as well as a Choice Scarf Hydreigon. So, Empoleon is my play. Megas, Swords Dances. We're going hard into I Dragon. Hard I Dragon. If he Dragon Claws, amazing play. Incredible play, but yeah, he didn't. So, I can just click the nice and save Draco and drop one right on this Sceptile. Awesome. And uh, by me doing that, I'm making it so the stack attacker can beat me. Uh, but he goes Lucario first, which is cool. Um, no, it's not, actually. I think I lose to this too. If it's Swords Dance, I could check it. No, I don't. I don't do it either. I don't do it at all either. It depends. It depends because Glick. He plots, but like in the face of a Gliscor. Like, what if I was max speed there? So I think I actually just lose. One twenty. Same thing with the chance of paralyzing him. I do think I actually just lose to that. It's just because I need a Gliscor for the stack attacker. Like, this is just one of the Pokemon that just straight up Nasty Plot just beats the team. I can't believe you... Like, what What if I actually had speed on Gliscor, though? I'm faster than Lucario. I'm not, but... I could be. In theory. Ideally, I live this Aura Sphere, and Discharge puts him in range of either Life Orb hit, or um, Amapon... Well, it should put him in range of Amapon's Mega. There's, like, there's no... Like, I know it'll put him in range of that. For sure. I'm just hoping I live this. It's not a Mega Lucario, so any adaptability boosted. Also, he doesn't appreciate switching in the discharge at all. Fabio, I need you to live this, bro. Hard wait, what? What kind of play? Why did he go hard Suicune? I do not get that. Okay, let's see. Does Gyro Ball knock him out? Please don't. Please, please don't. Please don't knock out Mammoth Swine. 92 to 108. Ugh. 
I mean, I discharge on stack attack anyway. I, I, did, I have to discharge on everything. Like, I literally cannot let him... I can't drop Dracos on him. I can't let him set up an attack and do all that crap. Um, Lucario comes back out, which is good because... I, I didn't take a hit. Oh, I could have lived it too, which is fire. Oh, and I knock him out too. Fabio, you're way too strong, buddy. This can just CC through me, though. Can it? If he scarf, I lose. But I think I'm a U-turn here. Because if he goes stack attack and I get in Mammoth Swan, I win. If he scarf, I lose anyway. Because I lost my fighting resist, right? But if he goes stack attack and I go Mammoth Swine, I can win as well. Oh, he's Scarf. Yeah, that's game. Unless Empoleon eats at 94, which I kind of doubt it. It'd be fire if Empoleon ate, because then it'll be in Torrent. Yeah, that's a... That's a this is a really weak to Infernape team once Gliscor is gone. Uh, Mammoth Swine, you want to eat your max HP? I would appreciate you eating this. Good game, dude. On Fort. Uh, so I gotta be careful about that. Scarf Infernape was something I wasn't even thinking about, but like, why'd I get Piff again? I made Ice Fang Gliscor this time, so that'd be good. Why did I get Piff again? <laughs> Alright, M Pump. Let's go. Once again, a great lead. Fake out U turn. Chip. Always Empoleon, always rocks. Have fun again. Is there no one else on the ladder? <laughs> A Selgor lead. Hard Agron. You turn on the Agron. Get an Empoleon. Get up rocks for the Selgor. Tank the Earthquake if he wants to go for that. Or just get up my rocks either way. I don't think he let me... Oh, he actually is going to let me hit him again with the, uh, with the Scald. And this time I am guaranteed in Torrent. So, goes Gengar on the Torrent, boost attack. Which does live it. Shadow Ball knocks me out. Focus Blast is... Well, that doesn't matter. I go, I go Mammoth Swine here anyway. Put Ice Shard and knock him out. Um, if he goes aggro and I get in get a Gliscor, so... I also think his aggro has Fire Punch. Thinking about it. But yeah, Mammoth comes in, picks up a KO. I could go for Earthquake here, but I don't think it's... Is it worth? Uh, maybe it was worth because he went Entei. Oof. Boy, went hard Entei. But him going Entei also means he'd probably go for the Flare Bits right here. So I can get in my Ampharos and potentially get off Static. Um, the Gengar is more than likely Scarf, I'm thinking. Go ahead and give me some damage on you. We can go Ambu right here. I don't think I'm going to click Pursuit, yeah. <laughs> I just click Fake Out and get rid of Entei. For real, for real. So, uh, the... Gengar can come in if it is Choice Scarf. Uh, the Assault War can come in as well. Um, Mammal Swine is actually good in this because, again, it still checks Lottie, still checks Gengar, still checks Gliscor, and also gives me hits off on Assault War. I don't know if he's HP Ice, but I gotta go Gliscor right here. I feel like he would be HP Ice, but... If he spikes, it puts him in range of the Ice Shard anyway. Um, just Final Gambit's through me, so great. His speed control is gone. Uh, not something I really did expect from him to do, but works, I guess. I'm still looking at a Dark Pulse potential sweep, or even an HP Ice sweep if I get hit off on Lottie. But I gotta be really careful now, because coming in on Agron is impossible. In fact, if he goes Lottie, he should always uh, go for a Z Draco. Yeah, and he is going to throw off a Z Draco here. Uh, we'll always go Mammoth Swine, I feel. Mm. Yeah, that's the play. He's going to throw off a Z Draco to ensure a KO. Yep. But now I can bring an Ammo Pump. I fake out U-turn. 
I think I do. Ooh, wait. Sludge Wave or Scarf? Okay, <laughs> never mind. Gone. Uh, I'm gonna try and beat down the Lottie with Gliscor. Same thing with his own Gliscor. Because he gets to go aggro on right here. And I got a U turn on it. I, I gotta keep Ammo Palm alive because Ammo Palm is my way of dealing with Lottie. He's definitely gonna heavy slam right now as I go Hydreigon. So um, we're gonna throw out Dark Pulses just to weaken the aggro on. Especially because we take multiple of those. Nice Scarf Dark Pulse. So we get rid of Agron, nice, his ammo palm switchings are gone. Uh, the Gliscor can come out. I think I have to go for Dark Pulse anyway. Ooh, that does so much damage, what the hell? Rock Polish, you monster. I don't think Earthquake knocks me out, but I don't think I have a choice even if it does. Like, I have to go for this Tail Slap. Hey, good game, man. Well played, Piff. Rock Polish Gliscor. Good game, dude. Well played. I had no idea it'd be a rock polish to score. Had I known, I would not have played it the way I did. But, oh well, we're uh, now, what is that, like one and two this episode? We're gonna pause it, guys, until we fight another battle. Be right back. Guys, we got another game. I'm thinking about the last game, uh, by the way, versus the, hey, versus the, not Met Piff, but the Infernape user. If I clicked Fake Out versus Infernape, it would easily 2 it KO, so I could force a 50-50, you turn out into Mamoswan and click Earthquake. So I think I should have done that, um, thinking about it. But yeah, that's a different game, totally different game. So uh, anyway, Ooh, I'm leading Mamo. Mamo, Mamo's gonna have fun. Mamo's gonna have a lot of fun in this game. Boy, it's Thick Fat too. I don't like how Thick Fat didn't help me live that, uh, I, don't, I don't like how his HP isn't helping me live anything. Yes, dude, it's Ammo Palm to the top. Yeah. So... Elite, Chandler, I have Mammal Swine. Um, I don't think any damage on Hydreigon matters at all in this game. And I want to see what type of set he is. He might just switch, honestly. Uh, Ice Shard, Revenge kills this, can deal with Hydreigon. I don't want to go Empoleon because Empoleon is my Hydreigon switching. And I can get up Rocks after. So I'm going to go directly onto Hydreigon, see what type of uh, Chandler this is. Looks to be Spectacles. And we can double out into Empoleon here. Um, I don't have U turns, so there's no point in you know, faking that I do. Why do you say yo? Why do you why do you answer my question? Is that, unless that's scarf overheat. Actually, that looks like scarf overheat. That's no way that spec specs shadow ball does about that much. So that's scarf um, chandelier. So we'll get a Brox here, and I think my scarf I drag on will be really nice and revenge killing a lot. But get a Napoleon. Let's see. Doubles out to Sylveon as he should. Good, good, good. Get up our rocks as you go to Napoleon. Yes, yes, yes. I don't want to go out to Gliscorn and knock off. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not letting you knock me off, man. I rather, I rather weaken you and weaken one of his main switching. So I'll keep clicking Scald here. It do not matter. I will get up my rocks and I will keep clicking Scald. Oh, unless he goes out to his guts user, that is. Yo, I don't switch in well to fighting types at all. I really do not switch into auto fighting types at all. Like, at all. Um, so, the great thing is, Pursuit from Amapom might actually be able to pick up the KO after this damage. I'm gonna Volt Switch right here. But Pursuit from Amapom might actually be able to pick up the KO. And I think I'm gonna click it because. No, you turn. You turn is the better play. I gotta get in my Gliscor, and I gotta. I gotta get my Toxicor back to it, so I can actually wall half his team. <laughs> like that's the, that's what Gliscor has to do right now. That's what Gliscor has to do. So throw off an earthquake. Uh, I could Ice Fang, but with Heracross being so low, there's no point. I feel I'll take a hit from my Dragon anyway, unless it's Z. I definitely take a hit from Chandelure, and Empoleon is a problem. Like Empoleon is a problem. Like that's it. Uh. Heracross is, after Rock, should be in range of Ice Shard. Oh, perfect. Even if it wants to Torrent Boost to Scald me, like, it won't knock me out at that range. Yeah. I'm like an Earthquake again. As he goes, Hydreigon. Dark Pulse me? I'm gonna go Empoleon anyway. Try and get up my Rocks. If he actually U-turns out to Heracross, that's bad. 
I'll live one Dark Pulse. Draco's a different story. <sighs> okay, so Gliscor wins safely versus Sylveon slash Empoleon, right? It can even Ice Fang the Sceptile, which I have. I, I can't. I know he's in a U-turn, but I can't. Okay, I was gonna say I can't risk that. Oh, that's just life warp. Oof. Oh, that's fine. I don't get up rocks in this game, which is actually not fine, but I get in my Amapom now and I can U-turn on the Empoleon coming in, which gives me two turns of recovery with Gliscor, which is super, super, super important. Of course, you can just drop a Draco after, but man does not care. Scarfight Dragon is literally my way of... I, I need like to break through Sylveon and I need Scarfight Dragon as well. Mammoth Swine is still important too. That's the problem. And the Amapom fakes out everything and can break through half his team. But I think it's the expendable member. Yep. So we got Mammoth Swine right now. I'll click Crash because... Dude, I have max HP. Come on, like live a hit. That's all I'm asking of you. Live a hit. Please. Just live something. I'm gonna earthquake right here, actually. I don't want him to risk his channel there, which I think is <clears throat> unnecessary. Also, I found that... I have very much found that um, the the Fight EMZ on Mammoth Swine has not done anything for me. Like, period. Nice shard. Yeah, nice. I I didn't care. Like that was like literally my only play right there to click that attack. Um, so drop a Draco. Doesn't matter if he goes Sylveon. I always have to. Uh, if he clicks Hyper Voice, I, I'm I'm gonna lose this game anyway because he has way too many Pokemon and I didn't secure rocks. Like in this game, this is where knockoff would have been better on Empoleon, and I think that Toxic hasn't been doing anything for me, so I'm gonna go, I'm clicking Knock, I'm putting Knock Off on it. Like, Knock Off would have been way better on, uh... <laughs> Can I win this? Maybe. Maybe. Cause I go Gliscor now. I roost up first. I, if I take an ice fan, I can loon this. Come on, Gliscor. Ooh, that did not do enough. He has to go for least on here though. Yep. SD up with my boy Gliscor. I gotta dodge a Lee Storm, but I think we can fight back. So I, I got plus two, that way I can actually deal with Sylveon uh, coming in. He should always switch. What are you doing, bro? And he gave me the 2 KO on Sylveon as well, so I don't know how I feel about that. Unless you have HP Ice on um, on Chandelier, which I think he would have went to or used versus Hydreigon. And I don't know why he went. Why did he go Sceptile? What? Do you have HP Ice? You should have went for it. No, he doesn't have HP. I won this game. I mean, I made the plays I had to make, but like I double Draco on a Fairy type. It comes down to this. If you actually have HP Ice, just Trick doesn't beat me. I just click Earthquake twice. Yo, bars, what the hell? What's happening? <laughs> oh man, I just started going, I don't care mode. I live one hit from you. I don't think you're specs. Over here would not do that little if you were specs. I've, I've faced specs shadow balls and faced specs fire blasts. I also don't know why he didn't go, why he went hard septile because, okay, so. Yeah, it's gonna come down to this. Come on, Gliscor. Come on, buddy. I need a crit right now, bro. Like he choked. I, I should get this. I should get this win again. 
I just need one crit, Gliscor. One crit, buddy. One crit gets it for me. Where's that 4%? Okay, now I need two crits. Hey, good game, dude. Yeah, I can't win. Um, he did throw, like, towards... I'm getting one more. He did throw towards the end of that game uh, by, I think, sacking Septile. I, like, maybe I should have SD'd versus that. And then I would have had to outplay the least... If I actually SD'd versus that, I think I won, too, because... Obviously, I knocked out Sylveon as well. I mean, this whole it all came down to not being able to get up Rocks and Empoleon. So, like, as we kept playing, I think that Rocks are the key. I think we're out of top 10 as well, unfortunately. Uh, but, 17 other, that's fine. The dude did say he went, like, 7-3 and three on the ladder. Uh, so, I guess I got the 3. <laughs> we'll pause it, guys, and this will be the last one. We'll be right back. Oh, boy, it's rematch time, boys. <laughs> I made it a Salt Vest Mammal Swine, by the way. Cause I was tired of it. I actually made a chopple at first just in case I got this guy, but then I changed it at the last minute. A little bit, uh, a little bit sad I did that, but I oh, really an pump because Terrakion I can fake out and U turn versus into Gliscor without having rocks up. Uh, it goes hard Suicune for some reason, so that means I actually do get rocks up in this game, which I didn't get up before, I believe. Uh, so. Um, and I do have Knock, which actually makes this a little bit easier to deal with. I'm surprised he went speaking last time, but yeah, we're good about Rocks. If he wants to go hard to Rakion, good play. Um, solid play on my opponent's part, for sure. I expected Rocks, which is why I threw off a Scald. Uh, ideally, we get the Burn for my play. No? Okay, that's, that's fine, too. We'll go Gliscor on close combat, then. Uh, I'm a Roost. If he has Taunt, he taunts. Like, let him. And if he Stone Edges, I'll eat. So, I'm going to attempt to uh, stall out these... Uh, well, actually, I think he would taunt here if he has it. So, I'm an Earthquake. And I was wrong. But, we're going to keep Gliscor alive this time for sure, because uh, he does have that Scarf Infernip, which is a very, 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 very big threat. This also helps me deal with Stack Attack, and we actually get rocks up this game, which is pretty cool. So, we know it's SD Sceptile, which I actually knocked out. I knock out with Ice Fang, and I'm going for it. He was SD last... <laughs> this is such a risk if he actually changed it up. Uh, but I knock him out with Ice Fang. So, and I get a turn of recovery, which is super crucial. That's fine, as long as I, I hit. Nice, so... Come on, dude! I did less to the dude last time, I'm mad. I still gotta keep this thing alive too. And I got a skull deer. Man, I was thinking about default. Like, oh, that Infernape is gonna be such a problem, man. <laughs> oh, man. Ideally, he goes Infernape now and not Lucario. Lucario is a good play though, too. Um, though, again, me making an assault vest might actually help me out in this game because I do live a hit from Lucario. Uh, like I said, ideally he goes in front of him and just clicks close combat, so I can go Fabio and just click Volt Switch. Uh, that should pick me up a KO. Stack attack would be odd. I really wish I burnt his Terrakion. And also, I don't understand these Ice Fang rolls. Like, I, the reason I thought I knocked him out is because last time I did so much. I did like 96%. Something stupid like that, but... Yeah, I still, as much as rocks are annoying me, I... I need them up, and we're going AV Mammal right now. This is where AV Mammal is going to come into clutch. Come on. Attack me with your Aura Sphere. Come on, bro. I'm a Salt Vest. I am AV. Attack me with that Aura Sphere. Please. Just give me this Lucario so I don't have to uh, sack half my team. Please. Just give me it. Give me it. I made it a Salt Vest for a reason. Nice. And I barely survived that. Let's go. All right. So Lucario is gone. Uh, if Infernape comes out, I'm clicking Ice Shard just to get any chip damage off on that monster. Especially if he just wants to U-turn that Stealth Rock plus another turn of Stealth Rock when he comes back in plus Ice Shard. He's probably wondering, is that a Salt Vest? Yes. Yes, it is. The thing is, I could still lose the stack attack up. Like, very, very easily. Uh, if you go Suicune, I have to knock it as well. Yeah, I can lose the stack attack very easily. I can still lose Inferno very easily, too. Not looking the best for me, guys. Definitely not. 
I didn't know what his last move was on Terrakion. I didn't know if it was Z or Taunt. I, Z as in if he was SD. Like maybe an SDZ, but I'm pretty sure it's Focus Ash, but... Not KOing Sceptile was a huge thing, man. That was really big. Where's he going to? I hope he goes Stack Attacker. I'd be really mad by me changing it from the item I was to, uh... To Assault Vest with no sewer power. Makes me lose if it was like an Air Balloon Stack Attack. Uh, we'll knock him off right now, though, if he wants to call mine. He should just click Scald, I feel. Um, though, it would be great if he went, he, he doubled right here, predicting my Hydreigon for some reason, into Infernape. Oh, that'd be fire. I'd uh, be able to knock off his Choice Scarf and actually not lose to him. Oh, that'd be very, very nice. I like that play a lot. Just clicks Combine. Cool. Second so Earthquake up after knocking off his Leftovers, and then we can Fake Out. Fake Out with Ambipom. Uh, and then get some good tail slap rolls, I guess. I would have won Ampharos, but I want Ampharos to actually be able to take a hit. Oh, that did so much. Never mind. This is this needs two hits to win. Well, three, in theory. Ha! All right, so that means I have two switches to Stealth Rock, which means I'm gonna lose to Scarf and Furnit. Great, and that misses. Incredible. Twice. Twice. Come on, dude. Like, Ambipom, bro. This is for you. This is legitimately for you. I gotta go for the pairs. Like, I literally have to go for the pairs and then for Discharge Because I live on Earthquake. I don't know if I'll live a constant to crush. That's so lame. I had to sack half my team to knock that thing out, and then, like, what I what I could have done was at least try to stall out Trick Room. Like, if, if Ampom didn't take the, the Scald hit, I would have multiple switch-ins to Stealth Rock. So I could fake out Tail Slap Sweeping, right, knock it out. He goes Stack Attacker. I go Ampharos. I, I double out into, like, Gliscorn or Potential Earthquake. Obviously, if he went for Cotter to Crush, it wouldn't matter there. But I double out to Gliscorn or Potential Earthquake. I go back on to Ampharos. I double out to Hydreigon. At the same time, I'm stalling out his Trick Room. And then potentially, I don't know, maybe I probably still lost anyway, but, oh well, we'll end it there. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, wasn't the best episode. We lost a ton this one, so I think I'm going to build a team for the next one. Uh, that way we can keep climbing, because we're back on number 25. We're trading back and forth with number 5 with Piff, but now we're on number 25. So, uh, again, I'll be building, and then I'll probably be laddering uh, with those squads. Um, thank you everybody for watching. Hope you guys all enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.